surprising similarities between Italian and Welsh. Welsh, as a language as a whole, is very different from Italian, but there are also a lot of similarities. Why would the two languages have similarities? Well, that's because the Romans conquered a large amount of our fair island, pretty much the entirety of England and Wales, and some of Scotland. According to English Heritage, link below, this started in 43 AD, and we were part of the empire until early 5th century AD, known as the province of Britannia. As a consequence, we have a lot of archaeological sites with Roman remains, and some pretty straight major roads, not a thing we're known for, in general. Latin, the official language under the occupation, bled into Welsh, as it did with English. We both stole the Latin alphabet, to varying degrees. Welsh uses 29 letters, including eight diagraphs, doubled up letters to produce different sounds from the individual letters. I don't know Latin, but I had thought at various points on my language journey that some of the sounds were quite similar to Italian. For a start, Welsh definitely has the tapped R sound. However, this alphabet would have been nothing if the Romans hadn't taught us to write. Yes, according to the BBC, before they invaded, we did very little writing. So that's probably why the Latin alphabet ended up being the basis, because we didn't really use another one. So, those words that are similar, again, the BBC states that the borrowed words are mainly for things that didn't exist here before the Romans came, such as bridges. We didn't have bridges before the Romans? The Welsh word for bridge is pont, and in modern Italian is ponte, although it's often bont in Welsh because of the whole mutation thing. There's an extensive list of Latin-based Welsh words on Wiktionary, but let's look at a few that are recognisable in modern Italian. Braich is an arm in Welsh, and it's braccio in Italian. Devil is diavol in Welsh, the F is a V sound, and diavolo in Italian. Fenister is window in Welsh. The double F is an F sound, and finestra in Italian. Fenetre in French, too. Padel is a pan in Welsh, and a padella in Italian. Did we not have any words for these before the Italians came? OK, the dominant language probably overpowers what's there before, but arms? The Romans didn't give us those. If you go searching online, there are disagreements about these things, and none of us were living then. So unless someone really does invent a time machine, we'll never know for sure. But these seem likely to me. But there are also many words that were borrowed by both languages from a common ancestor, and also those that have made their way from other languages since. There are lots of words in Welsh that sound pretty similar to English, for example. Some are spelled the same way, and others take a bit of getting used to. I mean, you try remembering that rugby is rugby, and cumni is company, and that hysbisebion is adverts. OK, that last one doesn't sound the same. I just can't believe I can remember that one. It's actually more difficult to remember ones that are spelled the same. Like signal. It's a problem. Which is also spelled the same. Were they borrowed from English? Or did we both get them from the same source? Problema in Italian and Spanish. Problem in French. Probably Latin again.